Hi, welcome to the Crafts Channel. My name's Corin Brad, and today I want to show you how simple it is to make a pop-up card like this mountainous gnome theme that we have here. And there's lots of elements to the pop-up card, but quite simply, when you want to pop it in the post, it will fold down into an A6 blank. Now, I'm going to provide you with templates for making this card. And it's not entirely foolproof because there are elements of it that will need to be put upright when the card is opened. But that's because as it closes down, everything shunts forward a little bit. So you can't rely upon things like foam pads or gluing things in position because what happens is when you flatten it, it will then crease. But essentially, let's just pop him there. The method behind it is, is if you get yourself a couple of pieces of A6 card and fold them in half, and on one of them you score down one and a half centimetres, because that will be the stand for the background of your scene. On the inside of your other piece of card, mark yourself some diagonals that are about, what, 15 degrees from the edge at 15 millimeter intervals, because these will be the lines that you base your card on. And then if you fold your tab in, fold your card in half, and line it up to that first line, and fold this card over, you can see, if you grab yourself a pencil, that these pieces of card extend from your blank. So if you just mark them, take it out and just cut a couple of mil inside those marks When you open it up, that will give you the parameters of where you can put your background. So for example, with the first range of dark colour mountains that we've got, they fit inside those parameters, nearly inside those parameters, so that you can cut your mountain range and you know that when it's inside the card, it won't pop out when the card is closed. And then to make your next range, simply take your piece of card, line it up to your next diagonal line and fold it over and you can see how much shorter it will be, need to be. And depending on how many layers you want, it will give you a guide of, of how tall you can make your elements of scenery. So, as I say, I've worked this one out for you and I will give you the templates. Start with an A6 blank. Start with a slightly smaller piece of patterned paper to make your base. And as you will know, if you stick a piece of pattern paper inside a blank, when you come to fold it, because that patterned piece of paper, if you've glued it down at the edges, is going to scrunch in in the middle. But you can't, you can't glue it, or you can't allow the glue to dry while it's closed, because what will happen is when you open it up, this piece of paper will be too tight. So what I recommend you do is to make sure you don't get too much of a crunch in the middle. You get a fine ball-ended tool and you just rescore that either side of your central fold line. When you fold it up, and let's just rescore this fold line on the back. When you fold it up, it will form almost like a gusset so that your card stays flat. It doesn't, it doesn't wrinkle when it's opened or it doesn't wrinkle when it's closed. So take your blank. Now we made a mark 
three centimetres down. So depending on where you've drawn your ankles, ankles, angles, make yourself a mark. And what you're going to do is you're going to line your tallest range of mountains up to that mark. And then you're going to glue one piece, add glue to there, and fold it over to glue the next bit. Before I glue this, I just want to show you how easy it is to make the snow caps on the top of your mountains. Piece of scrap white card, take your first mountain peak, draw a rough line, Cut it out, giving yourself a couple of mil either side of that drawn line. And then just trim a wavy line at the bottom of that peak. Bit of glue. Helps if your glue hasn't dried up. Flip it back. Pop it onto your mountain. And then just trim away the, ex the excess. Right, I'm just going to do the rest of these mountain peaks. So come back to me in a minute when I have completed them. So now I've trimmed all the peaks of my mountains and again that whole thing about layering cardstock together when it's on a fold, you want to make sure that the peak of this mountain folds really crisply up to the point. So again use a ball ended tool and indent that. And then before you fold it, if you just flip it over, put your ruler up against it and get your thumbnail under there to really crease that point so that it's as central on that mountain peak as you can make it. So, grab your card. Pop your range of mountains in the centre there, making sure that the edges of your mountains on this side, don't worry about this side for the minute, on this side don't overlap the outer of the card. Honestly, if I wound my glue stick up before I started work, life would be so much easier. Apply glue to this edge. Fold your mountain range over. Apply glue to this half of the tab. And fold your blank over. And it's at this point you can then trim away the excess tab along the bottom. And you're better off leaving this until you've glued it in place for a perfect fit. So then when you open it up, your mountain range stands proud. And then you can just add further mountain ranges in the same way by lining up your next range of mountains as it were, in front of this first one or last one depending on which order you're looking at your card. So again glue down one half of the tab, fold it over
glue down this half of the tab and then make sure that as you fold your card down you tuck that tab in front of that mountain range so that it holds it in place like so and then what you'll do is there's another mountain range and then a range of hills to stick in front of this in exactly the same way but then I just want to show you how easy it is to make the additional parts of your card like the Christmas trees and your little gnome the trees are very simply one template in fact I've got my original tree here this is one template and you change the height of the trees by just using less of the template and then the most effective way of cutting them out use a scalpel just to cut the diagonals in one direction and then cut the diagonals in the opposite direction and then just nick out the little tiny horizontal lines that form the bottom of each bow and then you can either cut across the bottom of your template and you can fix it simply glue it to here so that it goes up and down with your range of mountains like so so that when it's folded it just moves up and down with the mountains or what you can do is you can put an additional tab on the bottom give it a quick score with a ball ended tool and then glue that tab in the gully between your range of mountains rulers are great for pressing things down when your fingers are too big so that it sits independently of, independently of them but it still pops up as the mountains pop up and then our little gnome figure say so there'll be template pieces for you for all of these I've pre-cut these, I'm hoping that I haven't lost any of them so cut yourself a basic gnome background Pop his beard on. Add the brow or the rim or the brim of his hat and his little pom pom. Ooh. Pair of gloves. the cuffs to his gloves a black circle of card that you simply cut in half to make his little boots Oh, try not to get glue on the top of your card um, especially with something like a dry glue stick if you find you have got glue on the top of your card 
wait till it dries and then just rub it off with an eraser. And then just his little nose. And also what you can do is just put a couple of little highlights on his boots. So he's got shiny shoes. And again, just fix him to your front hill range like we have here. Try and avoid using foam pads if you can, because as I say, you will find things distort when the card is closed. And then you can add a greeting, some little tiny mushrooms, um, any other elements that you like really. But as long as you have done that step in the first place with measuring what the parameters of your card will be when it's closed, then you can create a really quite extensive theme that still fits in an envelope very easily for posting. Hope you like that. Hope you have a good Christmas and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.